Hey, welcome to your getting started guide with Zim Writer's One Click in Bulk Writer. This is going to be a short video, a very high level. I'm not going to go through all the options. If you want much more of a deeper dive, there's an advanced video on both of these features. But for right now, we're just going to give you that high level overview so you can get started and generate either one article or even up to a thousand articles at the end of the video. We're not going to talk about WordPress integration or AI images. That's all for the more advanced video. Let me bring up the Zim Writer menu and I have an a uh, list of blog post titles in here. So you'll find the one-click writer right here, and we can click the button, and it will bring up this very sparse menu. There's not a lot of options. I wanted the one-click to be super easy to use. You can't configure anything aside from the title of your blog post. So we can put our title in, five steps to get good grades in college. Now realize the bulk writer and the one-click writer are suited for informational type of articles. You don't want to use product roundups or product posts like um, top five graphics cards for 2024 or a review of the iPhone 14 or something like that. Those aren't well suited for just the bulk writer or the one-click writer. With a little caveat, you could be using SERP scraping with the bulk writer, but that's for the advanced video. That's not for this. So in general, you're not looking at product type roundup posts. You're looking at more informational type of posts for this. So this is an example of a listicle, a list of steps or a list of items, five steps to get good grades in college. You can put that in between three and 15, or you can do a normal informational article, how to get good grades in college. Either of these will work. And all you have to do is press OK. And you'll see a little progress bar down here. And when it's done, it will spit out an, an article in the Zim Writer directory in the output folder. So we can open this up. And this is the article I had it right before the video. Now, again, we use the one click for this. So we couldn't configure any options. It was just set it and done. But this entire article cost us one penny. So one penny for the whole article, 1,429 words. And you'll notice this is like weird. This is not like a Word document or something like that. This is a text file with some weird hash marks in here. If you don't know what this is, this is called Markdown. There's a link up here to convert this Markdown to a, a format that you're more accustomed to. So let me click this link. You don't have to do this. You can, if you use WordPress, for instance, and use Gutenberg, you can just copy this stuff right here and paste it right into Gutenberg and it will automatically convert it. But maybe you wanna take all this stuff and put it into Phrase or Surfer or some kind of third-party editor and edit it that way. If you do, then you wanna do what I'm gonna show you right now. So I opened this link and here's this converter and I'll open our directory here. And I'll just take this text file and I'll drag it over here and drop it and I'll download the file. And then what we get is a nice Word document with everything formatted nice and neat. So now I can take this and I can put it into whatever text editor I want and edit this file. Now you don't have to do that. We have all kinds of other options to upload this to WordPress, but that's for the more advanced video. Now that is the one-click writer, very simple to use. Now, if you want to customize your output a little more, that's when you want to use the bulk writer. Let me open it up. Now, don't be confused by the word bulk writer. You can write just one article if you want to, or you can queue up to a thousand different articles. It's totally up to you. And there's a lot of different options in here. I'm not gonna discuss those options in this particular video, but those options allow you to customize it to your specific tastes and your specific needs. Now, there is a, a directions link. I highly, I've spent a lot of time on these directions. Highly recommend clicking the links. They're in most of the different features inside of ZimWriter. So there's an exhaustive guide for the bulk writer. Here it is right here. It's got a funny little graphic and it explains a lot of the different settings in here. Most of the settings will be found in this assister guide to the SEO writer because there's an overlap of features, but the, the specific features just to the bulk writer will be found in here and you can read all about it. So take the time, re read the guide that will answer a lot of different questions. But if you do want to use the bulk writer, you'll put your articles in. We can put our all, actually, let's actually use these different articles we have over here. So here's a bunch of different articles and I'll paste it all in here. All right, so I don't know how many we have, but we got a bunch and I'll configure all the options I want and then I'll click start bulk writer. So it says Zim writer found 16 blog post titles to write about. It's important to note all your blog post titles need to be on a separate line. So start each blog post title on a brand new line. So here's the 16 it found, and then you'll click this button and Zim writer will get to work and start writing your blog posts. Very easy to do. Can't believe I made that video in five minutes, but this is great. I'm trying to make these short digestible training videos 
to get started. Again, there will be a more advanced uh, video on this available. Check that out. Other than that, just drop a comment down below. If you have a question, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, or reach out to us on the Zen Writer Facebook group. Talk to you later.